When the Olympics wrapped up in Sochi, it seemed a given amongst those chronicling the event that they would be the last games with NHL players. A lengthy shutdown, injuries, time zones, and no control of the money at stake make people think it's all over. But not so fast. There really needs to be a lot of thought put into this, despite the fact that some owners would pull the plug tomorrow. Because if that plug is pulled, that's it. The IOC isn't likely to let the NHL cherry-pick Olympics for participation. But there are also several layers to this decision over and above simply the players wanting to go and the owners not wanting to shut their business down. Like a lot of problems, money could help solve this if the league was compensated fairly for its time and its players. And then there needs to be some forward thinking. What does the NHL want to be when it grows up? And is it important to nurture the game itself worldwide? The NHL lives in North America. It has a solid following in Northern Europe, and the success of hockey in Sweden, Finland, and Switzerland bear the proof. But it's a cottage industry, really, on a global scale. With big picture thinking, patience, and some sacrifice, there just might be more than Olympic gold still untapped. North America has 550 million people. Asia has 4.2 billion. Hockey and the NHL haven't scratched the surface of that market, and while there's a long way from players and teams in Japan and Korea, there's merchandise and TV rights to be sold. There are reasons two of the next three Olympics are in Asia. People and money. Think way down the road in the first South Asians playing in a market like Vancouver. Don't scoff. It's not that long ago that there were no Swedes in the NHL. We all need to get around and over thinking about what time the Olympic Games are played on TV in North America. And instead, think about them as being prime time games in Asia. A time we in the NHL might want hockey to be a part of. So Olympic participation shouldn't be summarily dismissed. Instead of being over, maybe the experiment has just begun. For Hockey Night in Canada, I'm Jim Hewson.